Whoopi Goldberg, Tom Cruise, Jennifer Aniston, all celebrities who make a lot of money, but they also have something more in common. All three have dyslexia. It's estimated that one in 10 people have it. It's a learning impairment that causes problems with reading, writing, and spelling. Now, the intelligence of dyslexic people is unaffected, and there are a lot of misunderstandings that create a stigma. So as we take a look at this, we are aiming to raise more awareness and bring understanding about this disorder. These kids are friends and classmates, and they all share a common learning challenge. They all have dyslexia. It's actually the way that the neural pathways of the brain are wired for reading. Scientists know more than ever about dyslexia, but there are still a lot of misconceptions about this common learning difference. I think some people um, have a belief that dyslexia has to do with, with vision, that they see things upside down or reversed. Um, that is true, but it's not a vision issue. It's the way the brain is wired. So how much do you know about it? Is reading and writing letters backwards the main sign of dyslexia? Some kids with dyslexia write letters backwards and some don't. Next question, does dyslexia go away once kids learn to read? Even after you have intervention, you will always be dyslexic. And most children with dyslexia are also diagnosed with ADHD. And did you know there are dyslexia advantages? They are wonderful storytellers, oral storytellers. They are creative, artistic. Uh, dyslexics make amazing entrepreneurs. Experts say it takes three or four years of intervention to see a difference in most people. And just quickly here locally, we have a couple schools. You have DePaul School of Northeast Florida, also GRASP Academy, working specifically with dyslexic children.